Okay, so here I'm, I'm in standard desktop Steam, and we're going to do, I think, Tomb Raider first of all. And I've got it on a game drive, so I have to do this validation thing every time it it um, it launches. So bear with me. I've got my pen and paper ready to do my um, my final scores on this. So this is in not in game scope, just standard thing, and it's on the default Linux kernel that comes with. Um, can I let me play it now? Default Linux kernel that comes with a much bit of a boot up time here. Yeah, I mean, here we go. I'm going to skip that. It's interesting. The Steambox thing has really intrigued me because it's going to put a lot of games, you know, people are, people have obviously got Steam libraries. It's going to put a lot of games in living rooms. I mean, I've built Steamboxes myself. There's one, there's a Bazite box I did and it's great. But if you've got like a fully um, set up, Game scope Steam system. Right, let's do the settings now. What have I got on the options? I'm going to go for 14, 40, leave everything like that. Graphics, ultra, everything. Okay. And then play. So, yeah, I mean, having the system in the house is amazing, like that. And um, it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, the other products they brought up was a new controller. Um, that would just be a great controller in its own right to be able to hook up to any you know, system. But then basically let's just go to options. Let's go to graphics and display. And we've got this set to 1440p. I've got DLSF off. Everything's off. I'm just going to leave it like that. Custom graphics, ultra, everything's on ultra. And then I'm going to run the benchmark. It's interesting. It's not gone full screen. If you see the bottom, it's actually I mean, this is one of the things with running it on um, a march. I've noticed if you don't run it in game scope, you do get some really weird little graphic anomalies. Um, the other one with this is you need to force compatibility on some of these games.